Hey everybody, Brett from Astartes Gaming here, back with another episode of our Clash of Kings mod Let's Play. So last episode, I tried to make peace with King Euron Greyjoy, um, but he refused, and left me with no choice but to continue pursuing our war until uh, he is no longer king, and uh, can no longer hold us up in, you know, making peace and uh, getting on with our war with the Westerlands. So, uh, I didn't want to have to do this, but we're going to have to conquer all of the Iron Islands, and uh, so I have set up next to this harbor here, we're going to sail on down, defeating anybody in our way, um, maybe trying to recruit some of the Ironborn Lords, uh, a few of them are honorable, and because we are also honorable, we have pretty high relation with them. The only hang-up there is going to be whether or not they are happy with their current king. Um, I believe Liana Mormont and a small party of Northern Lords is already down here. So we're just going to sail on down and start taking castles left and right. Um, I'm going to defer a bunch of them. Well, I'm going to defer all of them. Um, so that they get uh, small garrisons set up in them already. And that should help draw other Lords to our cause as well. So uh, I'm going to start sailing on down there, and I'll see you guys in a second. Okay, so here we are, sailing into uh, the Iron Islands. Um, I'm wondering, where can I land? I think I have to land here to get to this island. Uh, so maybe I should go after this castle here first, Black Tide. Looks like Alan Orkwood's going to go garrison that right now. I still have more men in my party than they do. But let's see... The question is, what do they have present? Uh, it looks like quite a few archers. Um, oh, did he leave? Where did he go? He did leave. Um, interesting. Well, I'm going to intercept you then. And Alan Orkwood, we do meet again. I feel like I've defeated you before. You don't like me very much. Okay, well, in that case, uh, surrender or die. I don't think he'll even... Yeah, he won't even talk to me. Uh, you better defend yourself. I have a lot more men. Uh, I'm going to change commander. I'm going to swap to uh, Garrett Longley for this, because if I play as Rook, I'll never actually get to see any combat. So I'll switch to the Archer, who can you know take combat anywhere he wants, and we'll go ahead and uh, charge the enemy. Oh, I thought we'd be fighting on a ship. Uh, everybody follow me then. This is not at all what I was expecting. Um, I would have stuck with Rook if I knew we were fighting uh, on land. I guess we're fighting next to our ships. God damn this stumble mechanic. Alright, well we'll crest this hill and set up on top of it. And I guess I'm playing as uh, Garrett Longley for this one. Question is, where the hell are these Ironborn at? Don't look like they're over here. Where are you guys facing? Off that way? There they are. Okay. Cavalry. I want you out there. Infantry set up here. And uh, archers stay to the high ground. Let's see if I can take a few of these guys out. Probably be better off if he was controlled by the AI. Because frankly the AI at this range is going to be more accurate than I would be. What's taking my infantry so long to get here? It's a bit concerning. Infantry charge. Cavalry charge. Luckily my longbowmen seem to be doing work. Uh, infantry's not charging. Is it because we have a bunch of pikemen? Yes it is. Okay, so that's why. That's going to take some getting used to. I've been playing a lot of mods where everything is on the one key and now I have a bunch of infantry on the four key that I'm gonna have to remember to give orders to. Uh, excuse me. I'm trying to save my buddy over here. Why are my arrows going right through these guys? I mean, they should go right through, but they should do damage when they do it. Uh, let's see, got him. It's always difficult to get the moving targets. Why the hell are you running straight up into my face? Man at arms. That means your cavalry. Go charge people. All right, dude. You might have to die. God damn it. <laughs> what is your deal? I don't know. 
It's gonna be real annoying though. Do I have like a blunt weapon or anything? No, I don't. Okay, victory is ours, and this guy finally stopped chasing me around. Alright, so we lost one elite cavalry there, otherwise it was a slaughter. Um, uh, we have to fight them again. I'm going to go ahead and order them to attack without me, even though I know I'm going to take more casualties here than I should. Yeah, I had somebody, another elite cavalry was killed by three freaking men against 300. Ah, this game sometimes. Alright, my prisoner thing is full, so we're just going to have to uh, roll with it. Let's get some more cavalry going there, and we'll replace one of our elite ones that was lost. Uh, I've got 50 pikemen at this point, so I don't think I need any more. Uh, I'm going to go with more elite northern polemen. And uh, let's get another elite longbowman there. Hmm. I wonder if I should maybe move these guys lower in the list. The thing, though, is I kind of need all of them or none of them. Because they only work in pike formations. If they're not in pike formations, they're not that good. So I gotta figure out how to how to make that happen. Do I need more archers? I don't think I do. Alright. Uh, we got a large bag of throwing axes. I might be able to make use of that. Let's see. Uh, are they as good as oh I'm playing as Garrett Longley right now. Uh, we'll have to see if Rook can make use of those. Also, I don't want that stuff kicking around in uh, Garrett's inventory because he'll try to use it, and uh, that would be bad. So let me see your inventory, and I want all of this junk. And, okay, so large bag of throwing axes. I have regular ones, so I get an extra axe. Why not? I don't see any reason not to do that. Oh, I already had a large bag of throwing axes. Interesting. Well, now I've got two. Um, let's see. Royman Corbray, do you have a full complement? Whoops, wrong thing there. I'll take these, though. Uh, you do have a full thing of weapons, so I won't give you those. Torin, what about you? Uh, you have a two-hander, okay be handy in sieges. Um, maybe Domeric? Yeah, he could use one. I don't know if he has the uh, throwing skill, though. No, he doesn't. So we'll have to give him throwing so that we can give him those. Because he may as well have four weapons. There's nothing to gain by not carrying a full range of weapons. Alright, so uh, I guess Black Tide Castle, here we come. It, again, is almost entirely archers, so once we deal with the axemen guarding the entrance or whatever, it, it's going to be an absolute slaughter. Um, so let's get in here and we'll besiege the castle. And I guess I'll see you guys when we're... Oh, a siege tower. This is going to take forever. I'll see you guys when we get in there. Okay, we're ready to go. Uh, this should be like a one-and-done type thing, so I'm not even going to bother... Um, sending out a scouting party with Garrett Longley. I'm going to go ahead and just lead the charge with Rook. Uh, unfortunately, I left my lance equipped, so we're not going to be uh, super well suited to uh, besieging this. Actually, you know what? We might be able to just get them to surrender. Eh, apparently, he thinks they can hold it for ages. You're not going to hold it for a day, man. All right, uh, let's go ahead and lead our soldiers. Yeah, unfortunately I would have brought my crossbow, but uh, I always forget to switch uh, out my um, throwing axes and lance. Is anybody going to help me push this thing, or what? I guess it's it's moving real slow. Uh, archers set up here. And um, I guess it is moving. The rest of you, I might want to move back here somewhere. Look at Garrett Longley doing work. Let's see. I'm going to have my pikes get down here. So they're not taking a bunch of shots up there. And I don't know what these guys are. Are you infantry or cavalry? Hopefully they're all cavalry. In that case, 
I'll put the infantry down here as well. Pikemen, get the hell down here. I wonder, wonder if they can't move that far. There's certain parts of the map where the AI can't go. But the player can. And so I'm thinking that's what that that is. Okay, uh, we're almost there. And uh, apparently my pikemen are really eager to get this started. Um, they're actually surprisingly good in sieges as we found out when we took Barrowton. Um, the, the pikes have knockdown as well as a few other uh, handy abilities. And so when it comes to close quarters battle, they're actually not as... Uh, poorly equipped as you might expect. Alright, we're through. It looks like most of the Axemen are dealt with already. Uh, it's just a matter of getting after the archers now. I don't think I can go that far. Let's see, I'll help my guys clear this out. I don't think they need my help. I'm gonna push on then. Yeah, this guy's got the right idea. We'll stick with him. Try to keep him alive if we can. He doesn't really have a shield other than that tiny little uh, wooden thing on his arm there. Ah, damn. There's a lot of axemen here. Well, I'll try to hold the line if I can. Alright, let's make sure that you don't get killed. There we go. Uh, was there anybody up here? Yes, there was. Uh, that's the wrong swing. Nope, overhand. Or, sure, I guess that works. Come on, quit blocking it. Damn you. There we go. You're dealt with. Let's hop down on top of these guys. Oh, I thought I might be able to get one of those falling. And in we go. I'm not even going to worry about the guys behind me. My armor is good enough, but I should be able to take a few hits. Uh, now we're finally starting to take, take a few uh, Archers, if you're still around, why don't you guys come on over here? set you up inside and hopefully you can uh, oh apparently my guys worked their way all the way around and came up behind the enemy here is that the end of them no it's not I still see yeah I still see arrows coming out from over there oh, there's also fighting happening down there uh, yeah screw it let's just take the quick way and I think they're gonna clear them before I get there yeah, sure enough. Alright, well, we're going to run down the rest. I'll see you guys when that's taken care of. Okay, and that's the last one. Uh, he was actually hiding in this little shed here, and my guys couldn't seem to figure out how to get him. But uh, that's the end of that. So, 14 dead, another 16 wounded, so 30 casualties in all for us. Um, it looks like we lost quite a few pikemen there on the initial charge. Uh, lost a couple cavalry as well, uh, pushing the tower up but we definitely got the better of them still uh, Garrett Longley actually coming through with 24 kills I only got eight he did three times as well as I did and that's an AI controlled character um, let's see I can't take any more prisoners although uh, I can get rid of some of these lesser ones I guess uh, ironborn spearman peasant you guys can go I'm gonna take the elite archers and I'll take the veteran archer, and that's about all I can do. I got raider archers. Uh, sure. Raider horsemen, why not? I'm actually going to take all of these guys, and maybe I'll just throw them in the garrison here. Okay. Um, give me ten pikes to make up for the ones that we lost. And the rest can be pullmen. Uh, I'll make a few of you... Let's see, so 27 cavalry right there. How many more man-at-arms do I have? Uh, another, well, 28 now, so 38. Let's make that, um, hmm. Let's make that like 35, so I'll give you 7, and I'll make the rest sergeants. And then we'll get 5 elite longbows there and a couple more regular longbows. 
And then finally, um, I think we lost more infantry than archers there, so I'll make those guys infantry. All right, and what do we get? Some junky ironborn crap. Okay, so we've taken Black Tide Castle. I'm going to go ahead and defer appointment of that. And that will give us uh, a little bit of money as well as a free, moderately sized garrison. Um, we're not going to plunder it or anything. And we're basically just going to keep this neutral until uh, we can convert over some ironborn lords. Let's see, what did we get? That's not terrible. Uh, you guys can have all these clansmen, too. All right, so I've had to hustle over to Bariton because, uh, as you guys might be able to tell, it's under siege by quite a few ironborn lords here. Uh, so I'm going to get my siege equipment ready this time. Uh, I'm not going in there unprepared. Why do I have a crappy recurve bow? Uh, anyway, getting the siege gear out, and uh, we're going to hole up in Bariton. Uh, there's 230 there. I've got 270 or so myself. So uh, that's about 500. They've probably got, uh, I would guess, around 1,000, but I like our odds. So let's get in here. And we're going to go ahead and uh, just wait them out, I guess. All right, so weekly budget is in, and it's not pretty. Uh, we lost a lot of money there. That's unfortunate. Um, let's see, where are we losing the most? My, my party's costing us quite a bit. Uh, Sisterton, Lorath, Barrowton, all of the cities, or the towns, I should say, uh, their garrisons are costing me quite a bit. And uh, it looks like we're just not making that much. Yeah, I mean, where are all our other rents? We should be making money, I mean, I guess not from Barrowton because it's under siege, but it wasn't under siege all week. And then um, we didn't get any rents from winter, well, we got a little bit. Crofter's Village. Um, but yeah, we didn't get any rents or tariffs from Barrowton. We didn't get any rents or tariffs from Lorath. So what's going on there? We did get tributes. But I, I don't know. That's kind of weird. All right, so round one. Here we go. Uh, apparently the enemy's like right on top of us already. Uh, that's kind of crappy. Or actually, no, they have to come across here, don't they? Um, cavalry charge, infantry charge. I want you intercepting them before they come inside. I'm going to point blank as many guys as I can with this crossbow. Uh, we're not getting enough people in that breach, though. Come on, guys. Get in there. I might have to jump in as well. Alright, we're plugging it, sort of. As long as we can keep archers killing the... Uh, the retainers, we should be alright. The retainers are the ones that are going to do the most damage. God, these guys didn't know what they were getting into. They're walking into a buzzsaw here. They can't push through my infantry and my longbowmen are just tearing them to shreds. Well, I'm at a crossbow bolt, so I'm just going to have to help out over here as best I can. Luckily, my sword's got some pretty good reach and does incredible damage. So, uh, as long as I sit right about here, I can hit them. They can't really hit me. I mean, they can, but it's hard for them to do, and there's plenty of more tempting targets. So, um, yeah, we'll just keep sawing through them. The longbowmen are still chipping away. Uh, actually, they're doing more than chipping away, but... Uh, yeah, so far, so good. All right, so I think that was enough to do it. They look to be running off. Um, Barbary Dustin ran up over here, so I've asked her to start a campaign, and it looks like uh, Sir Helmut Tallhart wasn't too far away either. Hopefully more lords come to join us. It looks like uh, these are all just villagers. But I'm thinking we might want to take these guys out in the field, because there's not very many of them left. Uh, I don't care, just run, run them down. There we go. Roderick Harlaw is traveling straight for me. So maybe we can get him and everybody else. Wait, what? These stupid events. I need to figure out how to reduce the frequency of these or remove them together. Uh, outlaw Flaying, because that's terrible. Roderick Harlaw. We've got pretty good relations, actually. Um, let's see. 
I'm Rook Raven Tree. I won't be a dick to him because we might be able to convert him. Uh, I don't think we can... Yeah, we can't speak in private. All right, well, surrender or die. Let's see, 560 against 548. This is going to be one hell of a battle. All right, so here comes the enemy. Uh, we're not in great position here, but we're in good enough position. Uh, infantry charge, pikemen charge, and cavalry charge. This is going to be messy. Uh, I'm going to try to snipe some of these guys from the back. Damn it. Uh, those axes have really good reach. Damn it, he keeps clipping my horse. Let's see if I can get this guy. Nope. There it is. Don't hit the horse. Alright, so far so good. I mean, they were not in formation and uh, an infantry only army like they use is not going to work very well unless you're really tightly packed. So our cavalry should just tear them apart. But we are getting some casualties here. I guess that's to be expected. Alright, well, it looks like I'm infantry now. Uh, I'm gonna look for a, a horse that I can jump on. Hey, okay, things are starting to go a little bit south for us here. We're taking a lot of casualties now. Um, might need to re, re uh, set up our formations here because I think we're getting a little bit too. Uh, disorganized and it's playing to their advantage. We got a lot of people here though. I'm just going to let it play out. I was hoping I could get there before he killed my guy, but I wasn't quite quick enough. Ouch. Oh no. I saw him coming. I was hoping I could get that attack off before he swung that axe, but uh, no such luck, I guess. I'm try to stay on these containers here, because they are by far the most dangerous. The axemen are kind of just minor annoyances. Now, this is turning into like Battle of the Bastards level carnage here. Uh, you can see the all the casualties so far. Obviously, all those dead horses are uh, ours because they don't use horses. Um, I'm trying to get the archers up here where they can help out. Uh, they're taking forever to move. Ah, okay, you got it. Uh, I think they're out of ammo as well. But at least they'll uh, take part in the melee if it gets close enough to them. Oh no. I keep stumbling even though I'm not moving. I don't know what's up with that. Ah, oh, my shield broke. Uh, I better grab a new one. This is dangerous not having one. Here we go. I'm wondering if this is the last batch. I, I highly doubt it. It was nearly 600 men. That's quite a bit. I'm just trying really hard not to get... Uh, another wound on uh, Rook here. Any any wild swing by one of those axes could put me down for good. Gotcha. Uh, don't want to be in this melee. Don't want to be in this melee. Oh no, no, no. Not two of them. Oh god. Oh god. Somebody help. Oh no. No. Oh man, we're getting slaughtered right now too. Alright, so I've gone ahead and I've updated our wound count here. Uh, not looking great. We've only got a couple left and that uh, makes me a bit nervous. Uh, let's see here. We lost 20 with another 29 wounded. Our allies lost uh, 47 with another 68 wounded. The enemy lost 264 with another 55 wounded. Um, how did I do? Let's see. I had 59 casualties to my name, uh, 57 kills and two wounds. Uh, so we're going to have to jump back in. We've got them pretty well outnumbered at this point. So, um, I, I don't know if Rook is still good to fight here. No, let's go in with, uh, let's let Rylan 
get some uh, spotlight. We don't play as... I don't know if we've ever played with him, to be honest. So, uh, let's go ahead and take the field. Alright, so I'm using uh, Ryland's horse, horse archer skills. Why can't I say horse archer correctly? I'm using his horse archer skills in order to bait the enemy forward. Because uh, I don't want to have to come to them. That is uh, what caused us so many casualties last time. Is uh, We were fighting on their terms. And uh, our reinforcements had to go a whole long way in order to uh, catch up and help out. Oh, don't get hit by those. Yeah, let's get out of here. Alright, I'm going to try to lead them back into my infantry here. Hopefully they don't go after the cavalry. I'm trying to get the cavalry in around behind them, if I can help it. Yeah, come this way. Hey, you over there. Come attack me. Wow, you're not very accurate, Rylan. Damn it. Come on, let me hit the uh, shieldless guy. Alright, infantry charge. Pikes go ahead and charge. Cavalry start coming around. Archers are already firing, that's good. Ah, I thought for sure that would get him. Alright, cavalry go. They should be spread out enough where you guys can just come right in. And, oh, you guys got him. Nope, no you don't. Apparently I do. Oh, right over his head. I actually knocked him down and helped him duck under that one. Uh, I'm going to go after their archers. So as soon as we clean these guys up, I'm going to need to reform our formations here. I do not want us chasing uh, off after their um, reinforcements. Come on. I hate being on inclines like this. It's so hard to level your swings. There we go. Right across the face. Alright. Uh, infantry. Get back. Cavalry. Pikemen. Everybody get the hell get the hell back. Let's go. Let's move. Alright. We're going to let our pikemen do their thing a little bit here. I'm going to send the infantry though and have the pikemen hold their ground and see how they do. They should be able to repel these guys fairly easily. Uh, it looks like Torin got taken out. That's a shame. Uh, I had the wrong side there. Okay, uh, pikes go. Cavalry, feel free to join in. I'm going to go after uh, whoever the hell that is over there. Gotcha. Okay. Let's double back and help clean this up. They can't have too many left. We've already killed 80. They've got more coming. Uh, no, cavalry, get back here. Don't go running off. Uh, let's see. Nope. Uh, pikes, stay here. Infantry, stay here. I'll go get that guy. Oh, he's already gone. Oh, and I finally got dropped by a stray axe. All right. Um, my men are going to auto-charge. We'll let this play out, and then we're going to back out. I don't want them to go running after any reinforcements. But if they want to uh, fight these guys in this little forest here, I'm okay with that. Those pikemen are uh, really kicking some serious ass here. Okay, so two wounded and two routed on our side. That's interesting that... Oh, I actually ordered the longbowmen to route. Um, I wonder what... I guess only two of them made it by the time I backed out. But yeah, I told the longbowmen to leave because they were out of ammo. Uh, and then Torin and myself were wounded and that was it. Uh, let's see, six... Ah, okay, so the rest of the longbows and archers were allied. And they, they routed as well. Uh, so 115 dead on the enemy side there, and they've got 112 left. Um, I'm going to go ahead and finish this battle off camera, because we have got to be out of time at this point. So um, 
I guess we'll leave it right here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I had a great time playing the Clash of Kings with you. Um, next episode, we're going to try to stay on the Ironborn. Um, since we've pretty much wiped out their attempt to take Barrowton, uh, they should be uh, kind of reeling after that. And I imagine they'll have a really difficult time defending themselves. And that'll be our opportunity to really go after them and take some castles. So uh, thanks again for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.